UML relationships. So now we shall go for what are the different relationships are available in UML. We shall go for further discussion with some examples. So relationship is another most important building block of UML. It shows how the elements are associated with each other and this association describes the functionality of an application. So this relationship is actually it will, it, it will just uh, express that how these different building blocks of ML are getting associated with each other. And this relationship can be divided into four different categories. So there are four kinds of relationships available. Dependency, association, generalization and realization. So let me go for one by one. So at first we are going for the dependency. So dependency is a relationship between two things in which change in one element also affects the other. So the dependency relationship will be denoted by one dotted arrow headed line and here you see there is one entity will be there, there is another uh, say UML things will be there. So two UML things are there and the dependency will be expressed and change of one thing will be also reflecting change in the other thing. So that is why the, the relationship is known as the dependency. So the dependency notation, let me discuss the dependency notation now. Dependency is an important aspect in UML elements. It describes the dependent elements and the direction of dependency. Dependency is represented by a dotted arrow as shown in the following figure. The arrow head represents the independent element and the other end represents the dependent element. So now this is the dependent one. So here this arrow head will not be here, but this is the independent one. So the arrow head will be coming like this and here we will be writing the name of the element and the respective dependency type if I want, if I want to mention. So that can be done here. So this is known as the dependency notation. So next one we are going to discuss that is our association. So association is basically a set of links that connects the elements of a UML model. It also describes how many objects are taking part in the relationship. So here you can find that we are having the bidirectional dotted line to denote the association. Sometimes the arrows might be omitted. So in that case we can go for a single dotted line to denote the association. In case of association notation, so association describes how the elements in a UML diagram are associated. In simple words it describes how many elements are taking part in an interaction. So association is represented by a dotted line with or without arrows as I mentioned earlier on the both sides. The two ends represent two associated elements as shown in the following figure. The multiplicity is also mentioned at the ends we can express as one or star when we are having the multiple association etc to show how many objects are associated. Just consider this one here we are having employee, here we are having organization. So employee and organization they are associated and here you know that against one organization there are multiple employees are working. So that is why here the multiplicity will be one and here the multiplicity will be many and that has been described using the asterisk symbol. So here the association name we can also provide and here where you use the dotted line and both side arrow so bidirectional dotted line. Association is used to represent a relationship between two elements of a system. Next one is the generalization. Generalization can be defined as a relationship which connects a specialized element with a generalized element. So it basically describes the inheritance relationship in the world of objects. That means inheritance means we are going to define one object and we are going to define some other sub objects. So in that case what will happen this object which is defined so now these properties will get inherited in the respective sub objects or the sub classes. So in this case we are having the concept of generalization so it is actually denoting the property called inheritance. Generalized, uh, generalization notation describes the inheritance relationship of the object oriented world and it is parent and child relationship. So from the parent the properties will get inherited to the children. 
generalization is represented by an arrow with a hollow arrow head as shown uh, in the following figure. So, here you can find that the parent is having some properties and these properties have got inherited on, onto this child and this is the arrow which is the whole hollow field and one end represents the parent element and the other end represents the child element. So, generalization is used to describe parent child relationship in two elements of a system. Next one is our realization. So, realization can be defined as a relationship in which two elements are connected. One element describes some responsibility which is not implemented and other one implements them. So, in one the responsibilities are there, but they are not defined, they are not implemented. But in another element we are going to implement those responsibilities. This relationship exists in case of interface. So, here we will be having the hollow arrow head, but it is the dotted under line not the solid one. So, it is denoting the realization. So, this is our extensibility notation. All the languages programming or modeling have some mechanism to extend its capabilities as a syntax, semantics, etc. Syntax, the meaning of this word is grammar and semantics means the meaning. So, UML also has the following mechanisms to provide extensibility features. So, one is the stereotypes, next one is a tagged value and the last one is a constraint. So, represents new elements, there is a stereotypes. So, now tag values represents new attributes, there is a constraint represents the boundaries. So, the constraints represents the boundaries. So, there are three different extensibility features. So, let us go for this. So, there is a model number version is equal to 1.2. So, there is a tag values, there is a new attribute we are going to include here and then we are having this name and price. So, they are the stereotypes represent new elements. This add and delete are the respective functions are there and selling volume in T in months. So, in T months, so it is denoting this one and that is known as the constraint which will be imposed on this respective object or class. So, here you see, so all languages that is a programming or modeling have some mechanism to extend its capability in the form of syntax means grammar, in the form of semantics means meaning and here we are having there are four extensibility features there is a stereotypes represent new elements there is a tagged value represent new attributes and the constraints represent some boundary conditions so here we are having the selling volume is in t months so this is known as the extensibility notation so in this way we have discussed what are the uml relationships into more details and with some examples in our discussion Thanks for watching this video.